Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to tell you how easy it is to use Capsule CRM. I advise you to watch this video in full. In it I have combined all the most important information. After watching it, you will be able to start working with this service right away. Let's get started. Capsule CRM is a powerful tool you need to manage customer relationships, sales, emails, store interaction history and work with tasks. First of all, let's register for Capsule CRM. For this, you can follow the link in the description. After that, you will be taken to this page. Now let's click on the Try Free button. We will be given a 14-day free period. Now on the screen, you can absorb several possible tariffs. The cheapest one costs $18. This is perfect for a small business. There is an option for $36, the most popular plan. And right now you can check out the features this plan provides. The more expensive one costs $54 a month, while the most expensive plan which costs $72 per month. Let's start by scrolling down a little bit below and click on Get Started. Now we can enter our mail address or we can continue with Google Workspace or Microsoft. This is where you need to enter your information. Firstly, full name. Uh -huh. Now organization name, as you can see mail is added automatically, the one we entered, well and phone number cannot be entered yet. And let's click continue. Now go to your email and copy the verification code from there and enter it into capsule CRM. Okay, well now we have to come up with a password and enter it into this field. Ready? We are in. Now let's go through the interface of this service. Now we see the control panel. It's quite simple and easy to use. In the top left corner you can see a small menu. Let's explore what tabs we can open on this site. Dashboard, which is uh, where we are now. People and organizations. Calendar and tasks. Sales pipeline. Projects. Reports. And lastly, workflow automations. Um, okay, on the dashboard tab, we can see our tasks. With the add task button, we can add tasks uh, accordingly. In the right window, we can import contacts, add person and add organization. After that, your account history will be displayed here. Okay, now let's go to people and organizations. As you can see, all the people and organizations that uh, we have added are displayed here. You likely have a huge uh, list here later on, which is why we've added a filtering feature uh, to make it easier to find the person or organization you're looking for. We can find the line we need by name, by text, by email address and many other parameters. And of course, in the upper right corner, you can see three buttons that are uh, responsible for adding a contact, person or organization. The calendar and tasks tab manages your calendar and tasks. This is actually a very important tab where you can see all the tasks your team is currently working on. It's a great tab for scheduling tasks for any length of time. To add a task to the calendar, just click on the add task button. Well done. The next step is sales pipeline. In this step, we can track and manage potential sales opportunities. We can absorb exactly what stage the customer is at and, if necessary, bring uh, hot customers to the target action we need. By clicking on the sheet in the top left corner, you will see the full list of customers, uh, which you can filter in a more uh, convenient way. To get information about our funnel, we have to click on the dashboard. Here we can see a bunch of useful information. Funnel performance by several components. Pipeline forecast, pipeline by milestone, pipeline by tag, and uh, conversion rate. I advise you to familiarize yourself with all the items so that you can take necessary actions based on analytics. Let's go to the projects tab. This tab will help you manage your projects, track their fulfillment. It will allow you to accomplish all the most important things by the planned deadline. On the top right, using the Add Project button, we can add a project. 
and of course your projects can be filtered using this panel. Okay, the reports. The reports tab allows you to get full information about reports. Here you will see full statics uh, on how many contacts you have received, for example for a day or month or other period of time. As you can see, you need to upgrade to the starter version to use this tab. Um, well, the last tab is workflow automations. This is where we can automate our business processes. That is, we can set up tasks that will be performed automatically. But as you can see, this tab can be used only on uh, growth plan. So we've covered all the main buttons in the top left corner, but there are a few uh, features that are important to consider. For example, the add button in the top right corner. This button is used to quickly add a project, person, import contacts, add an organization or opportunity. Also, by clicking on your profile name in the upper right corner, we will see a drop-down menu. There are several options. My preferences, account settings, resource center, support and logout. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Well, now let's try to add a person. To do this, let's click on Add and select Add Person in the drop-down menu. Good, we need to enter information about him. Uh, don't be frightened by such a large amount of information that needs to be filled in. You can leave some field empty. Now let's enter first name, email address and select a title. After that, just click on save. And done. The person is added to our dashboard. And let's also try to add a project. Uh, we need to simply click on add and select project. We have to enter the name of the project, enter who the project belongs to, what person or organization. And we can also add a description, uh, tags and more. After entering, just click on save. Done. A new project is created. Okay, that's all. Guys, I tried as much as possible to compress the information for you, but still quite fully tell you about each uh, function of this service. I hope I did it. If my video helped you to understand how to work with Capsule CRM, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Thank you very much, it's very important to me. If you have any questions, then write them in the comments, I will try to help you. Have a nice day, bye.